Hey guys, how you doing? Um, it's another morning. I'm going back to get and check the, the card. Hopefully we got some good pictures in today. Um, I was going to go out last night and sit in the woods late at night and uh, see if I can watch them coming in and try to get some footage that way but I was too wrapped up with my kids now that their mom's gone um, I had to sp spend some extra you know quality time with them because now I'm playing mommy and daddy uh, like I said before we have a GoFundMe page up on um, Facebook I'll try to send the link this way and see if I can post it on YouTube too. And, uh, you know, at least on my page. And hopefully we can get some hits on it. Um, we're trying to do a celebration of life for Wendy and her brother and my Uncle Jamie. Now, this all happened within two months. You know, my brother in law passed away. Uh, he wasn't all there. Um, he took his own life. My Uncle Jamie passed away Thanksgiving evening. Um, complications of uh, cancer, lung cancer, in the fourth stage. My wife died of leukemia um, last Saturday. So, this has been the hardest week that I ever, ever, ever had to be. So, I mean, I lost my mother and my father and everybody else due to cancer. But like I said before, and I'll say it again, and I'll probably say it until they put me in the ground. If you have a wife and you love her with all your heart, show her every day. Even with you ladies, I mean, there might be a couple ladies that have been watching this video, so I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, love your husband. Love your mate, in other words. And uh, always be there for them. I mean, yeah, I know they're a pain in the butt when they're laying their coughing, sneezing, runny nose, and all that kind of crap. But you don't know. You don't know what's, you know, the next day is going to bring. You know, my wife thought she had a bruise on her leg. And uh, we took her to the hospital. And find out that it wasn't, it was leukemia. Her legs were bothering her, her back, and all that kind of stuff. Because it's a blood-borne uh, cancer. <laughs> leukemia is not a great cancer. And I feel for all the other ladies that have breast cancer and any kind of any kind of cancer, I don't care what it is. Skin cancer, anything. I don't I don't care what it is. Cancer sucks. And I'm gonna make sure until they put me in the ground that I will go visit the hospitals and I will take time out and take care and see what I can do and donate my time because I am a volunteer fireman. And we give out to whoever we have to. I will give my life for any one of any one of them cancer patients so they would feel better. So if you, you know, never had the experience to have a loved one die and and, and uh, be around cancer, you need to go visit the hospitals. You need to see in all them patients' eyes how bad it is. It really it's bad. You know, really, really bad. Because they don't know if they're going to wake up the next day. And it's sad and it's heartbreaking. Because all the doctors are doing is pumping that poison in their body to kill that cancer. And it's not a 99.9% .9 chance that they're going to go ahead and survive it all. Because all they're doing is making them sicker. Take their immune system away. That's what happened to my wife. She hasn't had an immune system in goddamn uh, three months. Three, four months. And that's not healthy. 
So she couldn't hold everything back. She couldn't fight anything. A little minor cold. What started was a tooth, a tooth problem. Now everybody takes it granted when they get a, you know, their toothache and all. Well, I better get some more gel and and all that kind of stuff and and all that. Do like my wife did. She had a infection in her mouth that lead to her jaw, lead to the base base of her brain. You know, and everything got infected. And then she was bleeding through her nose because she couldn't hold her platelets and everything down. And, you know, it, it, it wouldn't work. It was just bleeding, you know. So the last bits of my wife's life was, you know, not a good time. You know, it wasn't, you know, how you see in the movies, oh, they're just going to lay there and they're going to go to sleep. Well, it's not like that. Truly not like that. Okay? They go through pain. They suffer. Every one of these damn pa ca cancer patients, they suffer in some kind of way. And it's sad. They can dope you up and all that kind of stuff, but it didn't work for my wife. Not at all. And I want everybody to know this. That it's the saddest, saddest, saddest thing. Because you can't do nothing for them. But sit back there and hope and pray that they go quick. You know, so... Let's get all off the bad news and sad news and all that kind of stuff. And let's go ahead and check our pictures out because it looks like we had some deer through here last night. And um, I will keep on posting and I will keep on talking about cancer and I will keep on talking about my life. My life right now is a living hell. Um, it's just not good. So once again, the GoFundMe page is on Eddie Lowry's site. Um, um, and, uh, I mean, even if you just go ahead and, and message me or something like that, say thinking about you, man, or something like that, you don't have to, you know, send any money. I, you know, I, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not greedy or anything like that, but, you know, I'm trying to think about my four kids that I have and I have hardly any work, you know, I'm just making it by, I'm two months behind in, in my bills and, you know, and it, it's starting to, it's starting to calculate every day. So, uh, around the holiday season, too. <laughs> you know, she had to go around then. You know, why couldn't she, you know, go some other time? And now I, I hate Christmas even more. You know, because it was my mother's holiday. My mother loved Christmas. She loved giving out presents and, and, and her grandkids and all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, she's gone. She's gone from cancer. You know, my mother didn't die from the cancer. She died from pneumonia because she couldn't, she didn't uh, have her white counts and everything up to go ahead and save her life. So, all right, well, let me go ahead and change the subject because I'm going to start crying or some shit like that, and I don't need to. Uh, all right, so once again, it looks like we had some company in last night, and uh, it doesn't look like they came back through that end, but all right, I'm going to put you on pause and then I'm going to go ahead and pull the card. All right, I'm back. Um, it looks like all the girls came in last night. So it's like four of them. Uh, big six wasn't in there. None of the boys. So looks like all the girls came in last night, which is cool. You know, look at them. They're awesome as hell. So, we got 30 some pictures, I think it was like 30, 32 pictures, that's a pretty good picture there. I'm going to try to work on this camera, oh, this reader, so I can get this brighter, it looks like crap. So, that's pretty good, you know, so that that's the last one, and then there's me again. All right, guys, subscribe to my videos. Um, that would be great. Um, thanks for letting everybody, you know, li I mean, listen to me and everything like that. I do need this venting time. I'm so trying to trying to deal with this morning in in my own possible way of, um, you know, about my wife and and all that. And I appreciate everybody sitting back and listening. If you guys are listening, that's awesome. Um, 
So describe them on videos if you can. If you can, you know, shoot me a text or whatever on Facebook or Messenger. It's Eddie Lowry, you know. Uh, just, you know, just, I don't know, tell me your experiences with uh, cancer and, and all that and the loved ones that you have lost. You know, because we're not the only ones, I'm, I'm not the only one out there that's lost loved ones like this. I mean, I have lost a lot due to cancer. <clears throat> and it's sad. It's really sad. And I, I get scared every day. I mean, a bump comes up on my skin. I, I start getting scared, you know, because I can't leave my kids. You know, I, I need to take care of my kids. And that's my main focus right now. And I, I want everybody to understand it's not just a person that's sick that's it's hurting. It's the people around them, too, that has to sit there and watch them diminish and and, and just just you know fall apart you know and it's sad you know it's sad you know I, there's been that many nights if I have hold my wife's hair while she's throwing up because of chemo and and thinking that she's going to pass away in my arms and everything else so please guys I mean whatever you do just hug your loved ones and that are are sick I don't care what kind of sickness it is actually any kind of sickness you know even a flu, you know, there's been cases out there that I know for a fact that people got really sick and, and died of, you know, just an everyday flu. So I thank you very much. Uh, if you're out in the woods, knock them down. Um, you know, just, you know, be there for your loved ones, man. That's all I'm asking. All right. Thank you. Bye.